Hey guys, uh, today I want to show you my new rear safari window that we just installed the other day. So this is real neat. It uh, it makes driving the single cab a lot better. Uh, I really, I, I really like it for the single cab. You can put them on buses too. Like uh, I, you know, I could put it on on my bus over there, but I'm not really, you know, into that because then you'd have to climb over the chairs and all that stuff. But for the single cab, it really lets the air flow. It's really nice. Um, I got that off Wolfgang International. Me and my brother, we uh, went half in on it, and um, each of us went half in, and then we bought it for our dad for a Christmas gift um, for his pickup. And so how this thing works is, all right, so what you want to do is just swing these up. It's like the normal vent wings that you have, and then what you do is you just push it up, and then these two things lock into place. And yeah, there you go. It's uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's pretty neat. So, uh, uh, how to install it? What you got to do is there's these nuts and bolts that just come in. You have to drill holes in your pickup or your bus. It's um, you know, you don't really like drilling holes there, but it's whatever. Yeah, it's all for the greater good. All for the greater good. So uh, for our watchers, how much did, how much about did this cost? So the, this is the just the off white one, which was a hundred bucks cheaper than the stainless steel one. Uh, it was about I think the off white was three fifty or four hundred bucks, and then the stainless steel is a hundred bucks more. Um, what we did to install it was we watched this. Uh, there was this neat video done by Old Volks. Uh, it's a YouTube channel. You should go check them out. Um, yeah, they they did a really nice video about how to install that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how long did it take to ship? Did it have to ship overseas, or? Uh, no, uh, Wolfgang is a place down in California. Oh, okay, so We're it's up domestic. here in Washington, so it's, it's pretty, pretty quick. I think we did, like, UPS or FedEx or whatever's cheapest, you know. UPS is if you want to get your package treated right, but you want it to take forever. FedEx will get it, like, next day, but it'll be, like, broken. Yeah. So, uh, that's about about all that is for that um can you tell us anything else about you know what you've done with your bus so, uh since the last time we've so seen it like uh have you done any activities in it or anything no just normal driving it around you know uh you know going down to like the swim hole you know it gets a lot of looks it's pretty nice but the, other than that not too much just groceries for me it's pretty much my daily driver because my bus is pretty worn out and it still needs uh i have my engine and transmission I need to put those back in there because the the transmission has a problem so otherwise though soon soon yeah it'll be it'll be good coming up guys probably about a couple days from now we'll have uh 1969 west Vita, camper west folly would be uh bay window bay window camper yeah um Got some new tires on it. Got some new tires. The old ones are real, real janky, real, felt like you're driving on a waterbed. But now it's real smooth. I mean, I haven't driven it because, you know, but, uh, yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time on uh, Nick and Cameron uh, with some new video, VW videos. We'll keep yeah. you up, guys up to date. See you guys later. Bye.